Hi everyone, this is Kelsey here at Nahant Marsh, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite animal, which is the beaver. So the beaver is my favorite animal because of all of their incredible adaptations. Now an adaptation is something that an animal or plant has to help them survive better. So the beavers are kind of prime examples of adaptations because they have so many. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about some of those incredible features. So we'll start with this first one here, the one that everybody knows when they think beaver. And that is these incredible teeth. Now this here is a replica of a beaver skull, right? but we can still see they have these incredible large orange teeth. Right? And we can even see that on our mount here. Get up close and personal with this guy. There we go. So maybe asking yourself, why are they so long? And why are they orange? Now we didn't paint them orange just, uh, just because, just to make it interesting. Beaver teeth are actually orange. And that's because they have a higher iron content in their teeth than we do. So when that reacts with the water in their surroundings, it turns it orange. Now their teeth are so long because they are part of the rodent family. Now as rodents, they have front teeth on the top and the bottom that continuously grow throughout their whole lives. This is different from humans where we have a set of baby teeth and then a set of adult teeth that come in later in life. These guys just have teeth that continuously grow. So that's pretty exceptional. And when we think about how they use those teeth, we think about things like this. So this is a tree stump that we found out here at Nahant Marsh that was taken over by a beaver. So you can see they used their teeth to be able to chew off the bark all along the sides. They were also able to chew all the way around the stump to get the log to knock down, which they in turn use for their dam. So their teeth are pretty important because it helps them get their food source, which is bark here, and it helps to get the materials for their homes. Now they like to can or they like to <clears throat> excuse me chew on trees because as they gnaw on the wood, it actually grinds and kind of files down their teeth. So think about it like fingernails. If you were to never ever clip your fingernails or file them, they would get incredibly long. You wouldn't be able to do much with them. That's kind of the same with beavers. So if they let their teeth grow and grow and grow, they wouldn't be able to eat or build their dam. So they have to continuously be gnawing on wood to keep it at a sustainable level. Now, another really cool thing about beavers is they kind of have built-in goggles. So we can't exactly see this with the naked eye, but beavers have a set of uh, membranes behind their eyelids that acts as goggles that keeps the water out. So they're able to keep their eyes open underwater without getting it actually into their eyes. A similar thing goes for their ears and their nose. They're actually able to close their nose and their ears with special skin flaps to help keep the water out of there too. Now, we are gonna continue the topic on waterproof uh, abilities with their amazing fur. So if we take a look here, at this beaver fur, which was given to us by a, uh, another center. We did not kill this beaver. Everyone always likes to ask that. So if we take a look at this beaver, we can see that there's actually two layers here. So there's a short layer with a lot of kind of fluffy, almost polka dotted uh, fur here. But then there's also a nice wispy layer on top. So that short fluffy fur on the bottom is what helps to insulate the beaver. They are able to stay in water during the winter because they have that amazing warm layer of fur as well as a layer of fat underneath of it. Then on top, they have that wispy layer and this helps to kind of drive that water to the end of their body. It kind of keeps them slick like a raincoat. And as you look at these hairs, you can kind of imagine how that works. To keep themselves extra waterproof, beavers also have a special gland. 
So they actually spend a lot of their time grooming themselves like cats. So they take the oil from this gland, which is located near their bottoms, and they spread the oil all around to keep them nice and slick. Now beavers also have these incredible front paws, which are actually pretty similar to human hands. You can see they have some pretty dexterous fingers here. They even have thumbs. And they use that to grab hold of the logs, the uh, twigs, and all the other things that they're using. If we take a look at the back, you see their feet are pretty interesting too. They actually have webbed feet, which helps them to be even better swimmers since they've got all that waterproofing going on. Now, the final adaptation that I want to talk about is their tail. This is how most people recognize the beaver other than their teeth. All right, but they have this very long paddle-like tail and you can see it's kind of like leather. It actually feels uh, quite leathery and pretty scaly. And their tail is used for a lot of different things. So they kind of use it like a rudder to help them swim and stay in the right direction. They can use it to communicate to other beavers and even predators by slapping their tail along the water. And they also use it to help them stand in balance. So when they're trying to chew on a log, such as the one we saw over here, they need something to help them stand up. So they sit on their bottoms with their feet flat and their tail to support them in the back. And they'll stand up on their two feet and chew down the trees. So all in all, beavers are pretty awesome. We've got a lot of really special adaptations that make them some pretty incredible creatures, especially in places like Nahant Marsh. Thank you guys so much for watching and learning about beavers today. We're gonna keep you updated with lots more information and lots of really cool things happening around here at Nahant Marsh. Thanks, bye.